welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be comparing the DD under blanket with the Alpkit cloud cover. Now the DD under blanket is a purpose built under quilt for uh, the DD hammocks. Fits any of the uh, DD hammocks in the range. The big problem with this is it's got synthetic insulation so it's quite bulky. It is rated down to minus five degrees, so it's quite capable, it's a, a, a good quality product. However, as I say, very bulky. I struggle to fit this in when I go bike backpacking, it just takes up so much space in my bag. So, I've discovered the Alpkit cloud cover. The unfortunate thing about this is it doesn't have a uh, proper stuff sack. But you can see that if I compress this down, I can squeeze this into quite a uh, tight space into my bag and it compresses down to uh, less than a third of the size of the DD under blanket when it's fully uh, compressed in its uh, compression sack with these uh, straps all cinched up fully. Just lately, I've been experimenting with using two Alpkit cloud covers. And the two of these, when uh, compressed down, are still smaller than the DD under blanket. I struggle to really compress these down and really illustrate how uh, small they'll go uh, here. But when I'm stuffing them, them into a bag, they really do pack down small. It's just a pity that they don't come with a dedicated stuff, stuff sack. As I say, this is a great uh, product. I have used this for quite some time. Had quite a few uh, quality nights in it. But I think time for it to be uh, retired from uh, use for bike packing at least. Having an under blanket is pretty critical to a good night's sleep in a hammock. One of the main ways you get cold is losing heat beneath your body because as you lie in your sleeping bag you compress the bottom of that uh, bag so any uh, warmth, any lofting in that, uh, the bottom of that sleeping bag is lost. So you're basically lying against the bottom of the hammock and any uh, wind or breeze will rob you of your body's heat. So what you want is uh, something uh, nice and, uh, and insulated beneath you to uh, help retain all that heat, radiate it back towards you, and also to protect you from any uh, breeze. Obviously, another way you can manage that is uh, with a good tarp setup. I've got another video coming soon on uh, that. Um, so the tarp set uh, will help by uh, blocking any uh, airflow and uh, making sure you've got still air around you. But between a good tarp setup and a good under blanket setup, you'll have a really good night's sleep. So let's take a look at each of them in a little bit more detail. So first up, the DD under blanket. This is DD's proprietary uh, under quilt designed to go with all of their hammocks. So I always pack mine with a head end at the top. So the first thing I pull out goes on the top of my hammock where my head's gonna be. I also know that the label there is on the inside so I know which way to orientate it. So it comes with the clips ready installed on elastics. There's eight of them in total, two for each end, and then four on the sides. So the first thing you do, clip the two clips for the head end onto the suspension of my hammock, and then keeping it off the ground, I can just draw it out of its bag, slip it underneath, clip it on the other end. Same thing again, two clips. Oh, puffy falling out my hammock there. So, neaten things up. Then we've got the clips on the side. These clip on to the tabs on the hammock. I think all uh, of the DD range has got uh, four tabs, two on each side, but it'll go attach well to uh, any other brand of hammock as well. So two at the bottom, two at the top. And that's it, job done. You've also got adjustable elastic baffles here. Just pinch that 
and loosen it up, use more space or pinch and pull on the loop to tighten it up. Same on this side and then same again at the head and foot end elastic baffle there just to close up any gaps keep everything tight keep all the warmth in there so next up the op kit cloud cover my new preferred solution as i say so much more compact now this pulls out of an integral stuff sack the stuff sack is actually built into the uh, cloud cover zip that back up and that pocket is always on the tail end of the um, hammock. If I uh, open it up, you can see that this isn't straight all the way down. The head end is wider. Let's put two corners together. Yeah, that head end, you can see, it's a lot longer than the tail end. So, The best way I've found to attach this is uh, if you cinch this bottom end up a bit, move the poppers down to hold it like that, and then around six inches from the bottom, tie a simple overhand knot just to hold it tight there, seal everything up and keep all the warmth in. And then take this up to the top of the suspension and tie a simple bow. Nice and easy to get off in the morning. And then stretching it out, pass it under the hammock. And I just clip the adjusters into my suspension. The advantage of that being that it's easy to adjust, but also in the night as I wriggle around, if I were to put too much tension on here, it'll simply slip through, save breaking anything. Tidy everything up. So I've used this down to zero degrees. I found that if I did a few poppers up at the bottom, created a, a bit of a uh, foot box that really made a difference. I found that any more than three and uh, the poppers would just keep coming undone. But the bottom three makes a great foot box, really helps with warmth. I've used this down to zero degrees as I say and it's been perfect. However, if you want to uh, extend it a bit, kind of match the uh, DD hammocks which is rated down to uh, minus five, then I found that getting a second cloud cover is the way to go and it's still smaller than the DD. Two cloud covers smaller than the DD under blanket. So if I open it up same thing again the zip compartment is on the narrower side the narrower side going down to the toes at box end of my uh, hammock so I find the easiest way to attach this is to just use the clips so just clip it straight on these little poppers that you've got on along the uh, side of the cloud cover and just tuck the laces in again I want it cinched up so it uh, keeps all the heat in and on the side of the hammock that I uh, get into, I just pop up the first three poppers. On the rear side, I'll go all the way along. Fold that out of the way. That's all ready for me to get in. So when I get in the hammock, I simply sit down, 
kick my legs around into my sleeping bag. Get my sleeping bag zipped up just as I usually would. And then uh, pop in the last of the poppers. top one can be a little bit claustrophobic but I have found that once I get used to it it's not so bad it is sort of held off my face a little bit so by the uh, angle of the hammock especially when I get uh, into a nice diagonal position and I found that it stops the morning light from uh, waking me up too early so let's give that a go night night <laughs> I've only tried this setup down to minus two so far, and it's definitely superbly warm. It's warmer than the DD under blanket. I suspect that I could probably get away without using a sleeping bag in the summer, but I've yet to test that. But for uh, sort of late winter, early spring, autumn type uh, camping, a uh, cheapish down uh, sleeping bag and uh, the down under and over blanket provided by the uh, Alpkit cloud cover is perfect. I'll definitely be using this as my regular setup. So I hope you found this video useful. The DD Hammocks Under Blanket, whilst a superb product, isn't anywhere near as good and as compact or as warm as my uh, two Alpkit cloud covers. If ever they make a uh, down version of the uh, Under Blanket, I'll definitely be interested though. Let me know if you found any alternatives, any uh, other options or uh, any better uses for the uh, cloud cover. I uh, am going to be keeping one of those in the boot of my car just as a uh, sort of emergency blanket, a picnic blanket, uh, afternoons uh, in the beer garden, things like that. Anything uh, where a little uh, blanket would be uh, useful. Probably my wife and my kids getting more use out of it than me. But all the same, great product. If you uh, enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to click the like button. It really helps the channel, really helps me out. Thank you very much.